It's me, it's me, it's Jake Jeremy, and you're watching the SE Scoops YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking some tidbits from news over the last day or so. The very first bit of news we've got is the fact that Kyle O'Reilly actually went off injured. He went off on a stretcher at the end of NXT last night. It turns out that he's actually not injured, it's all part of a storyline. There was a fan in attendance who took a video of Kyle O'Reilly. They said that he actually, it looked like he was having a seizure. He's a type 1 diabetic, Kyle O'Reilly. So there's a chance that it could, it could have been a seizure, but... The, the, the fan, the concerns were, were not warranted. Um, he, he wasn't actually injured. It's all part of the storyline. Carl O'Reilly himself recently tweeted to say he's absolutely fine. It's just, it's all part of an ongoing storyline with Carl O'Reilly and Adam Cole. So thankfully, Carl O'Reilly is fine. Speaking of potential injuries, Sting took an absolutely nasty looking powerbomb last night on AEW Dynamite. So Sting appeared during a segment with Team Taz. Taz was in the ring basically saying, you know, he's calling out Sting. Sting appeared in the ring holding his baseball bat and Taz, Hook, Brian Cage were there, stood opposite him. Taz said to Sting, look, you know, you can't fight without that bat. You know, you, you can't do it anymore. You're an old man. Sting puts the bat down, goes straight after Brian Cage. He gets attacked by Hook with the bat. He gets choked out. Brian Cage then kicks him, gives him a ridiculous looking powerbomb. It looked so vicious. It looked nasty. Obviously, it was as safe as possible within the confines of a wrestling, wrestling ring in terms of a wrestling move. It was obviously very safe, but it just looks so nasty. Sting smacked down on the floor, his shoulder blades, the back of his head smacked down on the mat. It looked really, really nasty. This is the first time that we've really seen Sting take any sort of real punishment from someone ever since he had to retire back in 2015 after the match against Seth Rollins at the Night of Champions pay-per-view. He obviously took those two buckle bombs from Seth Rollins all those years ago and he was done. Spinal stenosis, as far as I'm aware, was spinal stenosis just took him completely out. He, he was done. No more wrestling for Sting. But obviously he's going to be appearing at the AEW Revolution pay-per-view on March the 7th on Fight TV. So it's interesting to me that Sting has basically able to do at least a little bit more than we thought originally so it looks as if it might be a cinematic match in March but it might not be we might actually see Sting take some bumps going forward in AEW and finally from the Wednesday Night Wars John Moxley versus Kenny Omega is going to happen at AEW Revolution it is an exploding barbed wire death match it's an exploding barbed wire Death match. Now, if you've never heard of that sort of thing before, it was a really, really big thing back in FMW over in Japan. So guys like Mick Foley, guys like Terry Funk were in these sort of matches, you know, with like C4 explosives and all these sort of like crazy things. And Kenny Omega has just basically raised the tier of what's going to happen at this pay-per-view and said, look, I'm going to fight you in a barbed wire death match. It's crazy. I mean, John Moxley is the sort of performer who obviously loves this sort of thing. You know, he's in CZW. He's, you know, he's a deathmatch kind of guy. You know, he loves it. It, it. What's going on? I mean, Kenny Omega, obviously, as an AEW champion, is clearly willing to put his body on the line to do whatever. This is, this is kind of the follow-on from a match back at Full Gear 2019 where Moxley and Omega took each other on in a lights-out match. There was a really nasty bump where there was kind of like a barbed wire platform like this. And then they both went into it from a from a suplex. It just looked really nasty. This is obviously kind of a, a, a moving on from that. Omega is clearly trying to prove in storyline that he can hang with anyone. He's trying to prove that as a performer, he can hang with absolutely anyone. And I cannot wait to see it. I cannot wait to see this exploding barbed wire death match. Whenever you think AEW have kind of taken it to a level that you think this is just ridiculous, they find another way to take this angle, to take this forbidden door angle, all these guys intermingling, you think this main event scene can't get any wilder, they manage it. So thanks very much for watching here on YouTube. Obviously, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to like the video. Hit that little notification bell so you know whenever we release a brand new video. Obviously, you may have noticed over the last couple of days, SE Scoots, we're going to be releasing a ton of video content over the next few months, and we hope to see you sticking around.